Hi students, uh, today I am going to discuss the questions for the previous videos. Hope you all uh, tried. So uh, today I am going to uh, tell the answer. So oxygen we know the bond order is first we will write the bond order. Okay, 2. So for O2 minus the bond order is 1. Okay, you would have found out. And uh, what is O2 plus? O2 plus is what? So oxygen, oxygen. So for oxygen it is 16 O2 plus means you would have taken one electron so it is 15 so according to the rule the bond order is 2.5 and uh, for oxygen O2 minus so what is that uh, for O2 minus so the bond order is 1.5 so the bond which is least stable so according to the rule the bond order increases the stability also increases correct okay so for which the bond order is least that will have be have that will be having the lowest stability so this one so the answer is o2 2 minus its bond order is 1 the least bond order will have the least stability high bond order which is having the high bond order so this is what o2 plus 1 okay the smallest bond length you know the bond order is inversely proportional to bond length so for small bond length the bond order should be high right so which is having high bond order okay so that is also o2 plus 1 okay got it so the order of bond energy so what is bond energy the energy that that is required to break a bond so more the bond order more the bond order more will be the bond energy okay more energy is required to break the bond so first we will see what is the bond uh, uh, order for this thing so NO is 2.5 okay and NO plus 1 so if it if we remove one electron so it will be so 3 and NO minus so add one electron so this is what uh, 15 plus 1 okay so the bond order is 2 so uh, the bond order increases in this order so which order so this one and uh, next comes your NO and next comes your minus so the bond order is directly proportional to bond energy so it is this one okay the correct order in which the oxygen oxygen bond length increases for the following species so h2o2 you need not uh, worry about this this is what typically h2o2 2 minus if we remove the uh, h2 it is o2 2 minus so what is for o2 2 minus so we have no so the bond order is one here for oxygen it is two for ozone you can apply this rule for what is the ozone molecule this one no so you apply this trick 1 plus number of pi bond is equal to 1 and number of sigma bond is equal to 2. So, it is 1.5. So, the bond order is 1.5. So, you know the bond order is inversely proportional to, uh, sorry, inversely proportional to bond length. So, increasing order of bond length. So, which is having, uh, we will write the bond order sequence first. Okay, so oxygen, then comes your ozone, then comes your O2, 2 minus. This is bond order. So, exactly the reverse. Bond length will be what? Exactly the reverse of this one. So, this is your order. Okay, more the bond length, less stable your molecule. Easily it can be broken. Okay, the thermal stability of the following. So, you must remember the thermal stability okay the thermal stability is directly proportional to bond order okay so the bond order increases the thermal stability also increases so for f2 so what is that ff so this is what triple bond nitrogen and this is so the bond order is one here three here and two here so for this bond order okay nitrogen is having more bond order then comes your oxygen then comes your fluorine so here is your thermal stability order and for this NO3 minus so what is the structure for this NO nitrogen okay so this one is a coordinate bond okay and this is a O sorry O minus so how many pi bonds are there you have to apply the same trick so bond order is equal to 1 plus how many pi bonds are there 1 divided by 3 sigma bonds so 1 divided by 3 is equal to 1.33 okay so this is your answer okay so hope you all uh, uh, learnt everything okay and uh, thank you so much 
please do share with your uh, friends and please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching thank you